In today's video, we are going to talk about audio signal processing methods. It's a basic introduction for beginners and the like. An audio signal is called to be direct or dry when the signal is fed from the input directly to the output with no effects or processing. But sometimes audio processing is required to change the tonal balance as well as the dynamics of an audio signal, whether it's coming from a microphone or line level or going to a specific output. There are two basic methods to modify the signal, in series method and in parallel method. In series method, audio signals are processed in series. Let's have a look at an example. An audio signal is processed in line and that means the output is the modified signal of the input. As an example with an equalizer, the audio source from the microphone has given a different tonal balance with an equalizer and the output of the equalizer process is fed to the output. And another example would be a compressor. Again, the output of the audio signal is fed to the input of the compressor and the audio signal is given a dynamic balance with the compressor and the output of the compressor is fed to the output stage. In series, audio processing method simply changes the input signal and outputs the modified audio signal to the output stage. We can have multiple audio processing in series. So audio signals are processed in line multiple times to achieve the desired output signal. So we could have a tonal and dynamic balance with an equalizer and a compressor in series. We could have a compressor followed by an equalizer. We could also have other effects, such as distortion, saturation, modulation, chorus, flanger, and so on, that go in series with the signal, thus changing the incoming audio signal to the desired output the other basic method is the parallel method, where the audio signals are processed in parallel. Let's have a look at an example. With parallel processing, the direct signal goes from the input straight to the output. But we tap on to the input and feed this signal into the processing, such as reverb, and the output of this audio processing is fed and mixed back to the output thus adding our desired effects to the original dry signal. Another example would be the delay, where a delayed signal is tapped off from the input, a delay is created, and then added or mixed back to the dry signal at the output. Of course, we can combine the series and parallel methods together to achieve the desired output. Here in this example, we have the signal coming in, the signal is fed to an equalizer, followed by a compressor. At the same time, the original dry signal is split and fed into a delay. And the output of the delay is combined back to the modified by the EQ and the compression signal into the output. And in most cases, we are able to decide how much of the parallel signal is mixed or added to the original signal whether if it was direct or in series processed as well. Of course, there is no reason why you cannot use a compressor or an equalizer in parallel with the direct signal to achieve the expected result. And of course, the same applies. There is no reason why you would normally put a delay unit or a reverb unit in series to achieve the desired output. In most hardware or software plugin effects, like delay and reverb, they do have a mix option where you can decide how much of the direct signal is mixed within the processing unit with the processed output. Here are some general methods for series and parallel. In series, we normally can put equalizers, compressors, filters, gates, chorus, distortion, saturation, etc. that change the audio signal from its input to its output. And some parallel method would be like reverbs, delay, echo, etc. that add to the original audio signal. 
Well, I hope this basic introduction of audio signal processing methods was helpful for you. If it was, make sure you give me the thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great time making music. Till next time, cheerio guys.